Hello and welcome to the Star Citizen News for the week ending the 22nd of August 2021. There is a load going on at the moment with events on now for Star Citizen, so I'm just about to start, and we're going to take a look forwards to the next major patch and medical gameplay too. But first, if you ever wondered why my beautiful head is so shiny, well that's because of NordVPN. I mean it's not, but you should click the links down below anyway. Alpha 3.14.1 is out now to live, and there's a load of fixes with that. There's a free fly event on until the 27th of August, and a ship sail on as well until the 30th. Get involved with all of that, especially 3.14.1 and the free fly, because it's a lot better than 3.14 was branch-wise. It's there's loads of fixes. It's lots, lots of it's fixed. A sneak peek this week from the newsletter was of a shop coming to Orison in Alpha 3.15. It's probably Cousin Crow's ship customization shop here, at uh, the back of that, um, because you're going to be able to change your skins and various other bits of your ships here and, uh, and all that sort of jazz and some ship modules will be available in the future too. We had an article this month in Star Citizen which looked at what's going on for the rest of August. The ship showdown starts on the 23rd of August. This has players vote on our favourite ships uh, with the top four ships at, at the end of the ship showdown and um, having special skins made for them and they sometimes are added to like a free fly and get their own little showcase later in the year and in the best of show this sort of stuff so um, it's worth voting let's see who the most popular ship is this year and the top four i expect there will be uh, some overlap from last year but there are new ships now so um, we'll have to wait and see and i do suspect the hercules is probably going to do pretty well on the 25th of August, we've got the Xenothreat event returning. It's the updated version, and it should be pretty sweet. The Nine Towers Lockdown is actually on servers at the moment, and will be running on and off for the foreseeable future. It is a event that will continue with Star Citizen until they probably break it and have to rework it. Uh, there's a Spectrum AMA on those dynamic events as well, coming later this month, so get your questions ready. And we're going to have a Talk Like the Pirate Day sale, and most likely competition uh, later in August as well. Well, although I did think International Pirate Day was in September, so um, that's weird. Inside Star Citizen this week looked at a, a couple of major things. Hospitals that are coming with the 3.15 major release at the sort of um, end of September, middle of October is the expectation here, may be released with CitizenCon, um, but this is part of those super important game-changing um, mechanics of medical um, medical profession, death of a spaceman, all starting to be phased in. So, um, space stations, Grim Hex, Orison, and New Babbage will be getting their own hospital facilities or clinics, and uh, other locations will follow up later. We got to see some previews of them. They also talked about the gold standard of ships, basically the best they can do with their current tech at the time. And they've sort of brought the Gladius and Sabre up to the current gold standard and they are working on the Retaliator now. It is more complex as it has a full interior. All the ships will be updated to the gold standard, focusing on Squadron 42 ships first because they're trying to get Squadron 42 out. Star Citizen Live this week talked with eight people from Turbulent. The studio works on things like the web platform, VoIP, Spectrum, and now, and they are building a huge new sort of studio as part of it for gameplay area, the star map, and sort of interesting game related content um, that is super important so we have a focused part of the turbulent studio that they're building out now working on star systems points of interest and sort of just yes, that, that actual gameplay area content so lots of the employees have previously worked at warner brothers or ubisoft and uh, on a wide range and variety of games they are of building locations with future PCs and hardware in mind because they want the game to look amazing at launch so that they're not sort of like building it for current PCs although they sort of are if you see what I mean and um, a lot of this stuff is going to be scalable uh, I would expect uh, but they are working on things like derelict ships as points of interest for missions looting exploration and more and there are going to be chances to get epic tier loot at these sort of um, locations and there's going to be puzzles there they're doing some great work at turbulent for the star citizen universe and i still remember them showing off what they had done with the javelin wreck and turning it into sort of like a, a little living uh, mini city or camp uh, i absolutely love this so some of the stuff that turbulent are doing um is really going to catapult the game into being an mmo and having that much larger gameplay area and if you want star citizen to release with a good amount of systems 
and you're like, how do, how are they ever going to build out 100 systems in a timely manner? Well, having a huge chunk of Turbian, effectively a new studio sort of branching off from them, um, focus on that uh, is the way that they plan to do it, and hopefully that will pay dividends in the very near future. I'm hoping we see a lot of this stuff at CitizenCon. Boom! That's it for this week's news. If you'd like to see any more of those topics in a bit more detail, check out the other videos on my YouTube channel. But what do you think? Have you tried out the latest 3.14.1 live build? Have you played in the Nine Tails Lockdown event yet? Are you looking forward to the new remastered Xenothreat event? If you've been playing Star Citizen for the first time during the free fly, how are you finding it? Whatever your thoughts, I'd love to hear from you in the comments below. Mummy, I'm going to play Star Citizen when I get home. Well, little Timmy, you can't because hackers stole our house. This is a story I hear only too often. It was just one day before these two were going to get NordVPN. Now they have to live on the streets. Don't let that be you. Get NordVPN in the links below. Every month we have a ship giveaway. For August, we are giving away a Mercury Star Runner, the fantastic multi-crew hauler data mission runner, allowing you to do a little bit of everything the Star Citizen has to offer. To be in for a chance of winning that, comment on any of my videos made during the month. More details in the links below. If you'd like to further support the channel, consider becoming a channel member. The join button down below, you'll get some exclusive videos and content each month, and it really does help us keep going. There is also the new thanks button under my videos for another way of throwing money at us. Both me and Zin appreciate all the support for the channel. Thanks for watching, and I hope to see you in the verse.